Please don't make me get the bolt cutters. Oh, you went in one side and out the other. All right, hold on. Are you feeling better today? You seem to be. I know, that foot's still hurting a little bit. Oh, you must be. Because you got one covered. Hello, tilapia. Hi. How's my girl? Well, I will definitely take one over none. All right, oh, I know. All right, let's see. Today's day two, and we have two very blue butts right here. And of course, both your tags are on backwards. And I thought, oh yeah, there's one more down there. Way down here. And you're missing one tag. Yep, tags are definitely, oh, you've got a little blue on you, but not enough for me to say you actually are bred. Hi, sis. How are you? So, okay, well, that's good, because yesterday he had nobody. Good boy, Bruno. And I think, oh, Bluegill, you have a little blue on you. And she's got a little blue on her. And then that one was yesterday. That one is new today. He's working on her. She was yesterday. Needless to say, Zeppelin is kind of a rock star. Oh, there's another one. That's... And she has a little bit of blue on her. Okay. Not really sure how he managed to get the majority of the black U's. Look at the draw. I don't think there's anybody new. She has orange on her from yesterday. I think, oh, nope, I lied. Ring Toss had the orange from yesterday. She is new orange. Who are you? And of course I didn't turn the lights on, so I have to find her number. But I don't think anybody else has any orange. I think there's still about five or six that haven't been covered yet. Okay, I got some blue on you, but I think you were yesterday. And I think you are the only one still. You act like you're feeling better. Were you just sore from getting your feet done? Okay, well, I hope you get with it a little quicker here, buddy. You're lagging behind everybody else. Good morning, guys. It has been a 
not a bad couple of days, just I feel like there is so much more I'm trying to get done than I have time for. Um, my husband has been gone since Monday and I have been basically trying to just get little things done. Um, finish tearing out that fence line so that we can stretch that fence this weekend when he's home. Um, clean the shop because I'm so tired of it just being a mess that you can't even walk around. Now there is a lot of stuff he has to do. If it was up to me, I would just pitch it. He won't let me. So it's his problem and he knows it. So all the banana boxes full of bolts and parts and yeah, that's, that's all his issue. But I did get quite a bit done yesterday. I spent just about all day in the shop yesterday cleaning and that, that was, yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a long day. And so today I have to get the fence line finished, pull out all my T-posts. And I'm hoping I can get that done in the next, I don't know, probably by noon, hopefully. And then he'll be home today. I have to go to town to pick him up. But yeah, they're just, I hate saying there's nothing going on because there's always something going on. It's just not exciting stuff going on. So, uh, sheep are doing well with breeding. Other than Elvis, but he is a slow starter. We have already learned that. And, and I do think his foot is still hurting him a little bit where we trimmed him up. But everybody else, Zeppelin is like going big guns. So super happy with that. And you know, it's, we're not even, we're, let's see, we put them in Sunday, today's Wednesday. So we've got a long ways to go before they're done. But there's only been two rebreeds so far with Viper. Um, but I think there's five that he didn't cover and I'm wondering if he was out of paint. I didn't think, I didn't think he was. I thought he still had enough when I switched, but maybe not. So we'll keep an eye and see what happens with those other five. But just letting the pickup warm up. I need to go out, pull fence, get all that taken care of. They have been chopping corn all around us. It's fabulous to be able to see again, but I can't breathe. I already have issues breathing, but the stirring up all the dust and the dirt has, has definitely made it worse. So I will be happy when they get through all of this corn and spuds don't seem to bother me near as bad, but the corn always gets me. So I have managed to get all of my wire except for a little piece up here that I still need to drag. Um, and I started pulling all the T-posts in this direction. Um, however, this T-post right here, there was a cap on top of it that goes to uh, this broken riser right here. And um, when I pulled it off of the T-post, there was a wasp nest under it. So um, that's gonna stay here for now. The wasps are all over here congregating. They have left me alone, but I think now is a good time for lunch. Let them settle. And then we'll see um, how things go after lunch. I, I don't think I'm gonna get this whole fence pulled out. Um, I, I, I got to get my Bible study done. I have not, I'm nowhere near ready for tomorrow. I got to get that done. That has to be part of this afternoon. Um, so I will try to come back out here. Otherwise I will finish this tomorrow when I get back from town and that way it will be ready and I'm debating. So like these T posts, they're good ones, but they lean. So I might bring a 
tape measure back out when I come back out and measure those to make sure they're the 10 feet apart, which they should be because that's how we do our sheep fencing. Um, but they were also originally put in when we separated this section off as our winter feedlot for the cattle. So it could go either way. They could be eight feet. They could be 10 feet. They, I, they aren't 20 feet, I don't think. Um, but anyway, that's, that's a later afternoon project. I, or tomorrow project. If I don't have to pull all these and we can kind of like straighten them up a little bit so that they're not leaning, that would make my life so much simpler. And then I, I, there's just a section down at the other end, um, that has crappy posts like this end did. So we'll see. Um, the less I have to do, the better. Well, there's not much out there, but we did get the hay swathed. I haven't been to the other field to check it, but call that a win. Oh, 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 oh. Can you see through the trees down there? They're chopping the corn. Oh, that means everything around us will be done. Oh, that makes me so happy. So this got cut, Let's see today is Wednesday. So I think the North field was done Sunday and this one was done Monday. So a week from Monday, I should be able to start baling. Hey, how did you get in there, Simon? Saw this ewe down here on her own by herself and came down here and Simon is um, down here where he doesn't belong. I hope there was no through the fence breeding going on. sure you're new. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And she makes five. So there are two new today. I think he had three yesterday. Okay. I know, I'm coming. I'll get you water. I promise. I need a second bucket. There's there's not enough for that bucket doesn't hold enough for all of these guys. I'm coming. What do we got over here? Hello, my sweet girl. How are you? Selena, you're not bred yet. You're such a pest. You're such a pest. She jumped the fence. So she's getting bred a little bit early. Okay, you are not new, but let's see. Hi. I, oh, maybe, maybe a little bit on this one here. Might be the only new one. One, two, three, four. Five. Six. She might be number seven. Okay, I there are wasps all over here. They have apparently a inside there. They have a oh yeah. 
big nest. Okay, well, I don't really want to get killed by them today. All right, let's get you guys fed, huh? Should we get you fed? She's got a little blue on her. And she was yesterday. I think that black one has a little blue on her too, so. Okay. We have nothing new for Viper. Wasn't expecting anything new. Shouldn't be getting anything new for him covering, but you never know. Um, so just the two, uh, two rebreeds so far. Hopefully there will not be any more. They are the very first two he bred, so who knows. And uh, Elvis, he has still just the one bred, but he's he was pushing one of the other ewes as I got over here. And looks like, looks like he is still right next to her. So, here's hoping. He's a slow starter. I know he's a slow starter. I just hope his swimmers aren't as slow as he is. Good boy. Good Simon. Dogs. Hey. Simon, this way. Get out. Come on, Simon. Come on. Good boy. I know, it's a mud puddle. Come on. Good boy. So smart. So smart. Huh. Uh, where are the rest of my rams? Oh no. can't find my rounds. I really kind of want to cry. Because if they're not here, they're out back. With the entire flock of sheep. And I have no clue. No clue. How they could have got there. They were here yesterday. So they got out last night. <sighs> yep, I think I remember why we were keeping them locked in. Because somehow, some way, they get out of this pen during breeding. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't get an easy night because we gotta go find sheep. I saw a black ram. I swear I saw a black ram. But now I can't find any rams. Still, or again, or whatever. Nobody under the tree. There's nobody up at Gilbert's. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. That's all my black rams, sturgeon and keystone. Okay, so 
who am I missing? I hate that I don't remember who I have for rams now. Okay, so there's five. Four babies. Babies. They're not babies. They're, they're however old from February till September. Okay, I'm not panicking near like I was because my older boys are still here. But where are those four little ones? They're the ones Would it be the worst thing in the world if they got out back? No, because I don't know that any of the ewes would stand for them, but I, I would prefer them not to be out back. Oh, 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 oh. There's two more, three more. There's one, I can see his ears over there in the tree, in the bushes. Okay, one more. I need to find one more ram, which means I gotta cross this. Whew. That sun's bright. Okay, all four of those little lambs, little ram lambs were there. Oh, I feel so much better about that now. I was, I was panicking just a itty bitty bit. So I don't need to bring the flock in. There are no rams out there. There will be no who's your daddies. Oh, I, I don't know how Simon's getting out of there. So I think there's still a ton of feed in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just move um, Simon and those other two back in here so that they can't keep going back and forth and getting into that pen. I don't know how he's getting in there. It just, it just be safer. All right, boys, let's get you back in your pen. And we're just gonna lock you out of the feedlot for now. No, Simon, follow the little boys. Simon. Simon. Thank you. Okay. Yep, I'm over this day. <laughs>